Hey guys, how's it going? This is this video on how to bore a cylinder at home. This is the Briggs and Stratton 12 horsepower. Now I have another one. Um, I'm going to show you. That one's 20 thousandths. This is 10 thousandths. I got the bore finished. Okay. That's what this, uh, this Lau, was it the 15 thousand tool? Pretty good. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad of money, I guess. If I do two of these motors, that means I paid paid for it. Okay, I figure it's about a hundred bucks a cylinder to get it bored. So I'm gonna show you the finish here. Okay. Okay. Pretty nice finish here. I'm gonna show you how straight this thing is. It's pretty straight. All the way and up down the, the bore. That's a dial bore gauge. I have it set with uh, this motor here. It's standard size down at the bottom. It's 3 inch point four three six and a half. Okay, so add 10 on that. Pretty close. Okay. I may have to recalibrate this tool just a smidge. You can see we're pretty close to. I still might have to do just ever so slight bit of uh, hone. Probably take a few tenths off. It'll be absolutely perfect. Okay. Now this is the this is the twenty thousandths motor. Okay. Okay. Your stones are clean. Use that little brush they give you. Time you get to do that a good bit. Yep. Clean them up. Yeah, I eventually do a video, put these engines together, give you some pointers on how to get more power out of these things. Little tricks I know. Like if you're in high grass, so it'll it'll just keep going, you know, have you know power, you know, be able to pull a lot harder. You get these things right, I'll tell you what. I think they'll give today's motors a run for their money. I really do. I built a few, and I'll tell you what, they go out to perform some of these uh, new single cylinder engines. Especially my uh, 11 horsepower. Uh, not too good, huh? Got to hold it. If I hear my neighbor scream in hell, I call her Sindel from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Always getting mad. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I remember Sindel, the one that would scream. Yeah. Hear that? The drill picked up speed. Probably took a little material. This actually is pretty fun, I think, to do. You know?
doing stuff that the average person probably, that's what I consider fun, doing stuff the average person probably can't do. You know? Doing stuff like this, machine shop quality, you know? Could be done. looks really nice. Good. Oh yeah. Alright. So we got, like I said, it's a long process sometimes. I got the 180 grit stones on there. Oh yeah, we're almost, we got probably 7 tenths. See that? Real close. See that? Camera's picked by almost seven tenths here. We got the double check it, go to zero on this. Is this a stock bore? Put it at the bottom where the piston don't ride. Perfect. Double check this stuff. Just double check. Oh yeah, we're getting real close, man. Oh yeah, that looks, that's looking real nice. Pretty close there, huh? Almost. Three minutes we got. 16 minutes. Taking much material, just sneak up on her. It's like old Mr. Cooper, the body man. And he's saying, just sneak up on her. I'm probably going to stop video here after this. I'll show you when I'm done. I'll do probably video three. I want to make sure I do this right. You know what I mean? The way I do things. Try to do everything right as can be. I like the half ass stuff. Indicator may have moved. Check it here. Nope, it's okay. Maybe a little 
the dirt down in there, but yeah. You see that puppy strays can be. I'll show you here and I'll I'll stop the video. I'll do video three and I'll show you the end result. Okay. This is uh Nice cross hatch in there. Pretty good. Down in there, just with a little bit of dirt down in there. I gotta clean, but get the general idea. Okay, guys, I'll show you video three here. Till next time, keep feeling the heat.